Hello, my name is Elizabeth Conner, and this is my first book critique. My feature text is called Rosie Revere, Engineer, written by Andrea Betty and illustrated by David Roberts. This is a picture book and was given the Parents' Choice Award for picture books in 2013. This book is about a young girl named Rosie Revere who has a stash of random objects that she collects to make new inventions. She has made several inventions, but when she makes her uncle a hat from a fan and cheese spray, he laughs at her. So Rosie gives up creating new gadgets until her great-great-aunt Rose visits Rosie and inspires her to make an invention that can help her aunt fly. Rosie ends up creating a flying machine that works for a few minutes and then crashes. Rosie is upset, but her great-great-aunt cheers her up by saying it was a good first try and inspires her to keep working until she creates the perfect flying machine. I chose this book because it has incredible pictures and inspires creative thought. I also liked how it can be used across the curriculum because it focuses on engineering and being your own inventor. The book also creates a growth mindset, reminding kids that when they encounter a problem, they should not quit but should try harder to fulfill their dreams. The first lesson I created to go along with the book is for fourth grade, with the content area English Language Arts. These are the Ohio Learning Standards that go along with the lesson. For the first lesson, after reading the book, students will have a class discussion about inventions that make life easier. Students will then research an invention that has made a significant contribution to today's society. With their research, Students will create a creative brochure using Canva with the goal of getting consumers to invest in the invention. This is the Padlet that I created. It is an example of a research brochure that students can make and share on a, their Padlet. Here's my example of the brochure. Students will collaborate within the classroom by sharing their brochures to the class Padlet, and the Padlet can be posted to the school's Facebook page to share with a wider audience. The brochures can also be printed out and hung in the hall to show other classes, families, and visitors about the inventions the students are learning about. The second lesson is for a second grade class and applies to science learning standards. This lesson relates to science because of its integration of the atmosphere. In this lesson, students will be challenged to draw out their own invention of a flying machine. Their drawings can become 3D with the help of the online tool Tinkercad. To get their project to a wider audience, they can enlist the help of local engineers and manufacturing companies to work with the students in creating little models of their drawings or virtual 3D images. At the end of the lesson, students can test whose models are actually capable of flying. Another book that I read is called Boo to You. Boo to You is under the genre of picture book, written by Lewis Elhert and a, an award-winning author of the Caldecott Medal. It is a book about mice being afraid of a black cat. I love this book because of its construction paper pictures, and it could easily be used for a fall lesson. The next book is called Lon Popo. It is a Caldecott award-winning book written by Ed Young. It is a traditional literature because it is a version of Red Riding Hood told from a Chinese perspective. And these are just a few pictures that I love from the book. The next book is called Rosa. It is a biography picture book written by Nikki Giovanni. It has won both the Caldecott Medal and the Coretta Scott King Award for illustrators. I really love the pictures because they looked like cutouts from magazines and have very different styles. The next one I chose is called May I Bring a Friend. This is one of my favorite books. It is written by Beatrice Schnink, Day Reiners, and it has cute poetry that receives a call to cot medal. I really love this book because it has a nice rhythm and leaves you feeling very happy. The next book I chose is called Polar Bear, Polar Bear, What Do You Hear? It's a picture book by Bill Martin Jr. and illustrated by award-winning author or illustrator Eric Carl. It won the Red Book Children's Picture Book Award and focuses on animal sounds, which would be great for a younger audience. The next one is called Daisy Comes Home. It is a multicultural book about a girl named Mimi who loves her chicken Daisy. But Daisy 
accidentally runs away. Daisy goes through many struggles and is eventually found by Mimi. It is by Jan Brett and received North Carolina's Children's Book Award for picture books. I really loved the culturally rich pictures included in the book. The, award, the next book is called The Adventures of Beckle, an unimaginary friend. It is a picture book written by Dan Stantot. It received a Caldecott medal and has incredibly vibrant pictures, which I really loved. I'm sure this book would be great for any audience, especially the little kids who love the vibrant pictures and have imaginary friends to relate to. Thanks for listening.